So here at Hatfield we have the opportunity to have a lot of different larval culture systems that can be tailored to whatever experiment we're trying to do. I do a lot of work in 24 well larval tissue culture plates, which allow us to do a huge number of treatments per experiment um, so that we can try and screen different bacteria to find out which ones uh, are beneficial and able to improve larval survival in the presence of pathogens. After we go through those stages on a really small scale, we then often scale up to what you're looking at here, which are one liter beakers. Um, and I'm currently just trying to fine tune the experimental design, preparing for the next really large experiment. Um, so for this, we're trying one liter beakers with and without aeration, because at this point, the larvae are so small that uh, in this volume of container, the aeration actually causes quite a bit of turbulence, and we need to know if that's going to negatively impact the larvae in any way before we go on to design large experiments relying on this system. And then over here, we have basically the same thing. We're scaling up a little bit more to 10 meter buckets. Um, the advantage of this is the larvae are quite a bit happier than they are in these one meter buckets. stays the same. You get a higher number of larvae per bucket, uh, which then becomes really beneficial if you want to carry them all the way through, so, through metamorphosis and settlement to see if early exposure to probiotics can improve long-term survival when exposed to pathogens.